momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Brady now on first down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Up the middle, Johnson. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. On play action, now Brady. And this caught left side by the tight end Parham. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Chris Johnson, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make our score 14-7. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Here we go, here we go. Go, go. Alert, alert. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Another first down this time on a gain of 19. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. Down to about the 22 here. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And that's a nice game by him on first down, picking up some key yardage. Go! Kevin Pirates! Kevin Pirates! From the 22, Griffin. Touchdown! Mark Andrews on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, Cardinal? No, I think you can do it here in football. A perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they'll continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Pats at the line ready to go. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Brady now to throw. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. 
An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. After the interception, here's Griffin. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Griffin. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Vita Vea breaking through to get the sack. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On the give, this is their fullback. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Johnson running right. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Griffin. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Second down and eight. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now it's Griffin. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And he's going to take this down to about the 17. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. How about that call? Hand it to the big guy in that situation. Normally you think of him as a real short yardage runner, but in this case, they trust him to get a few more yards than that. 
I remember an old New York Giants quarterback, a Super Bowl winning quarterback, telling me he loves offense coordinators who call the plays with a little bit of abandon. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. That will first and 10 at the 11. Griffin. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Second and six with the ball on the seven. Griffin. Caught on the slant. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I get the thought process. Third and short, give it to the fullback, let him bulldoze his way. But that means you're counting on your offensive line to win a lot of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And that will force a turnover on downs. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to loft one deep left side here. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. On first down, Brady. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. That's going to be caught by Moss. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 13-yard line. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Now Brady again. Flushed out right. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Throwing is Brady on third down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown. Or this game's over. Now Brady got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Ravens are going to get the football back. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Oh, Griffin's going to throw. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's got this up to the 40. 